Friday. I hope y'all are having a good week. Um, so this week I'm actually going to teach you guys something. I thought I would um, just kind of show you new stuff at Fat Quarter Shop while people join us. And at the end, I'm going to show you how you can turn a small table topper like this into a tree skirt and show you how you can do binding on 120 degree angles. So that should be fun. So um, just good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you guys having a good week. I have, I'm working on designer mystery for next year. So I've got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. It's been rain a ton in Texas. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do this weekend because it's just raining like crazy. So one thing you might've seen on social media is we have new shipping boxes. We have four colors, four sizes. You can't request the color. Um, and if you get like a really big box, it won't come colored or a really small box. It won't come colored because we just kind of came up with four standard sizes. They're super cute. They say like, so in love, so in style, so it begins, and so creative. And we have four different colors. Anyway, so that should um, be kind of cute, kind of like your sew sampler boxes. You can have something to store stuff in. So that's a new thing. Um, we have some new big tree uh, paper goods, I guess. So we've got like three little notepads, which I've actually been using these already because I had a sample. And she has new washi tape. I prefer the red one for my sewing machine. And she has little bags that you can put like charm packs or mini charm packs in or great like Christmas gift type things, which y'all have been asking about. So um, that's one cute little thing. And uh, as far as like free tutorials, we have a tutorial called Cute as a Button um pin cushion it's designed by sherry mcconnell and she filmed this for us a while ago and we brought it back and i just wanted to show you the original ones i made um i still have them in my sewing room and they're super cute for the just another button company pin minis like you know just for like decoration so cute so this is on our blog the video of course is free on youtube you might have seen it when it came out a couple years ago but we just brought it back something free for you guys so we've got that and um, one thing that was kind of popular on social media this week that um, we showed some pictures. There's a brand new group called Spotted by Zen Chic. It's kind of a basic and you can see it's like kind of like spotted. And we put together our own little colorways of it because the group is rather large. And so um, because it's so large, you know, you might just want certain colors. So we kind of put these bundles together and they seem to be super popular on um, social media. So I thought I would just kind of show you. And this is, you know, an example of our packaging. We put a lot of time and love and effort into making things super nice for you guys. Um, so there's that. Oops loud and then again we are working on our perfect 10 sew along there's a hashtag I can't remember it off the top of my head but you can find it on our Instagram Facebook all that stuff on Tuesdays we're giving you a free PDF that you can download that will show you how you can make the sampler quilt of course you have to have the book it's called perfect 10 quilts it's only $14.95 super affordable there's also a ruler that goes with it and so this week we've got um, buttered pecan and coconut blocks. And so this week we made two buttered pecan blocks and then we give you kind of, you know, the sashing. And then this I believe is our coconut block, this little bitty one. So um, this is something that you can do probably in like two hours a week and at the end you will have a quilt that's a sampler of all of the um, blocks. We have 16 blocks in there and we kind of put them together. Thought it'd be a fun way so that not only do you get 16 quilts, you get one more. And then I did a, uh, on the back, I did a piece backing like I like to do. So there's that. I had some leftover blocks. So there's that, that's, that's a semi-free thing. I mean, it's a free, um, you have to have the book, but it is a free quilt. So there's that. Another thing is I just wanted to remind you guys we have the mega giveaway that's like just a simple survey you can complete um, that helps us with our business and what got you guys are looking for. We're giving away $7,500 worth of prizes. So um, check that out. Let's see what else we got. Oh, and then wool mats. I've gotten a lot of questions on wool mats. A lot. 
Super popular product, one of our best selling notions at the moment. Um, I don't use them. I don't really think I need to use them, I guess, because I starch. So I asked Pat Sloan to do a video, and she did a video. It is She is going to post it in Kimberly Stitch Squad one more time. Um, it We will also post it on our Fat Quarter Shop Facebook page, and she links to a video, and she shows you how she uses it. She talked to the manufacturer about what to do, what not to do. Like if you use steam with it, it will have a slight smell to it or a sm small odor. Gina Tell also put a review this morning on her Facebook, which is Graffiti Quilter. So um, yeah, that was one comment that I've been getting a lot of questions on is the wool mats, and I don't really, I'm pretty honest with you guys, and I'm not going to tell you that I use something when I don't. So I don't use it, but those two people do, and you can like ask them questions um, about it if you want to try that out. And... Um, that's about all, but I'm going to go ahead. Y'all let me know if you have questions on that. There is a question. Okay. Um, what size cuts are those? What's the question? Cuts? Yes. Of I what? Think it was. Oh, and the spotted. Those are fat quarters. We have by colorway fat quarter bundles and half yard bundles. The ones I showed you are fat quarters. We also have fat quarter bundles of the entire collection. And I don't know if we have a half yard of the entire collection. And we also have like jelly rolls, layer cakes, all that stuff. All right, that's the question we have right now. Okay, so a new thing, a new tutorial that I wanted to come up with to show you is I love to do binding. A lot of you guys hate binding. I used to hate it until I got good at it. So I love binding and I thought this would be a good tutorial. So again, kind of one thing that I, I try to talk to you guys about is taking something old and making it new. This book, Simply Fat Quarters, we published I looked at it the other day and now I cannot even remember. I think it was 2012. So this is our very first Fat Quarter Shop. It's so in my book. And, you know, I have it in my closet. So I was like, oh, I really like this pattern. This is called Thistles. So I turned this into this. So we have a kit available. Most of you probably have the pattern. If you want to get the kit, great. If you don't, that's totally fine too. I just drew it out in electric quilt which is a program just to see kind of how it would look before I sewed it together. So there's that. And basically what I did is four blocks. So you can see. Oh, you could pause for a second. Yes. Sorry, apparently people are getting bad video right now. Okay. And now it, sh it says it's healthy again. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, wait, sorry. Never mind. So I'll hold this up for a little bit so you can kind of see the four blocks. Um, just four blocks. And when you're piecing this, a lot of seams nest. So you can either press open or you can just do each block one by one and press opposite ways, which is what I did, but I'm a little OCD. Probably wouldn't recommend it because it took me way too long. I also, just while we're trying to get the video right, I had my quilter quilt really tight because I'm gonna be cutting this square out and I didn't want loose quilting because I felt like it might um, 